clamp for the loose diamond to see laser inscription. First you just pull up one side, place the diamond in between like this, make it a little tight so you can rotate the diamond here, place in the center, keep it as down as possible, as close to diamond. Now you can see the griddle. If it is not in focus, you can adjust the focus from here slowly. So once you see the griddle is fine, then at the side, this is the zoom button. This is minus, this is plus. So what we can do, we can zoom in. Just pull the button a little bit and it will increase the zoom. So now you can see the griddle very easily. And now you can see there is inscription here. If not, then you can always rotate the diamond. So wherever the inscription is, you can see it easily. Here it go. When you see, you can just click the pick button, the camera button. It can save at the memory card or you can also attach this to the computer from USB so you can see directly directly to your computer screen now let me show you how to use with the R clamp you can place your ring place just like that keep it closer Now you can see the griddle here and you can always rotate. And if there is any inscription, you can adjust the focus. If there is any inscription, you can see easily. Also, you can adjust the light from the, from the top also from the bottom the light set is here and here you can see the griddle here and you can always rotate And if there is any inscription, you can adjust the focus. If there is any inscription, you can see easily. Also, you can adjust the light from the from the top. Also from the bottom. The light set is here and here. This is how to uh, to use tweezer. You can place your diamond stone in tweezer. Adjust the focus. You can come more closer. Adjust the focus again. Again, you zoom in, zoom out, adjust the lighting. With the tweezer you can see the 360 degree view of the diamond.